Today I'm going to be answering a pretty interesting problem. We have x plus 2 to the power of 100, and we want to know what is the biggest coefficient in this polynomial. So of course, if I was to expand this, this would just be a polynomial of degree 100. So of course, the first term would maybe be x to the 100. If I'm going in descending order, then it's going to be um, 100 choose 1 times x to the 99 times 2 to the 1. So that'd be 200 x to the 99 and so on. And I'd go all the way down to 2 to the 100. And the question is, out of all the coefficients of x here, which one here is the greatest? So the way I'm going to answer this is I'm going to let ci equal the coefficient of x to the i in this expansion. So for example, c99 would equal 200, for example, here. OK, and my goal here is to work out the maximum value of ci. How am I going to do this? Well, let's firstly write down a general expression for ci. And we can use the binomial theorem to do this. Well, so what is a general expression for ci? Well, it's going to be 100 choose i multiplied by 2 to the power of 100 minus i. So just to see why it's 2 to the 100 minus i, well, we can just look at 99, for example. So c99 is 100 choose 99 times 2 to the 1 which makes sense. So it's 2 times 100. OK, so this is ci. And what I'm going to do is consider ci plus 1 divided by ci. And in fact, before I do that, maybe I want to say that ci plus 1 is going to be bigger than ci if and only if ci plus 1 over ci is bigger than 1. So this is clearly true. I've just divided both sides by ci. All the coefficients here are clearly positive, so I don't have to worry about any dividing by a negative number issues. Um, and now this thing is quite nice because it's easy to take the ratio of these two numbers. Obviously, c, if c is, you know, if i is 50, uh, c50 is a huge number. I don't really want to calculate it, but I can calculate the ratio quite nicely. So ci plus 1 would be 100 factorial over i plus 1 factorial times 99 minus i factorial multiplied by 2 to the 99 minus i and ci would be 100 factorial divided by i factorial times 100 minus i factorial multiplied by 2 to the 100 minus i and now i'm going to save you the algebra of simplifying this but it simplifies quite nicely um, to simply 100 minus i all over i plus 1 and then there's another 2 on the bottom and so we simply need to solve this inequality that 100 minus i over 2i plus 1 is bigger than 1. And again, I'll save you the algebra. If you solve this, you get i is less than 32 and 2 thirds. Or in other words, since i has to be an integer here, this is true if and only if i is less than or equal to 32. So what have we shown? We've shown that ci plus 1, the i plus 1 coefficient, is bigger than the ith coefficient if and only if i is smaller than or equal to 32. Why is this useful for us? Well, I claim that c33 is going to be our largest coefficient. Why is that? Well, let's use this result we've just worked out. When i is at least 32, so, sorry, at most 32, so when i is 32, I get that c of 33 is bigger than c of 32 using this result. So I've used i is 32 in this inequality here. But since this inequality is true for all values of i less than or equal to 32, I can also plug in 31. And when I plug in 31 into this, I get c32 is bigger than c31. And similarly, I can get that c31 is bigger than c30 and so on, all the way down to c0. So certainly c33 is the biggest out of the first 34 coefficients. How do I know that C33, though, is bigger than C34 and C35 and C36 and so on? Well, the idea here is, well, this inequality must not be true when I is bigger than 32. And so, in other words, CI plus 1 must be less than CI if, uh, if I is at least 33. Uh, and the idea here is, basically, if I just reverse this inequality, all these if and only ifs, so it's got quite messy here, all the if and only ifs I did over here, those would just be reversed, and I'd end up with i is bigger than 32 and 2 thirds. So i would have to be at least 33. That's the idea. And so therefore, if I just substitute i is 33 into this, I get that c34 is less than c33. And similarly, c35 is less than c34, which is already less than c33. And so on. I get all the other binomial coefficients here 
are less than C33, so that the coefficient of x to the 33 is the greatest in this expansion. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.